Here to tell us the importance of this big event and what we can expect is the Notre Dame Prep Director of Communications, Kim Hobb, as well as President and Anchor. We have NDP President uh, Jacob Weatherall and we have Anchor Carlo Lanza. They're going to join us in the second segment. But Kim, let's start with you. Let me just ask the basics. Tell me about Mardi Gras Giving Day and how this got started here at Notre Dame Prep. Well, um, Mardi, the, the Mardi Gras Giving Day began as a, um, an idea to have a fundraiser that was kid-driven, to really get the students involved. So we have um, not just our NDP Live students, but the students who take the digital video um, classes. And um, they usually start out first semester as beginners, and then they take the advanced class, and then they usually are hooked, and they, <laughs> you know, they're in the studio with all this technology and they want to be a part of, um, of, the, of broadcasting. And so to give them a real platform and a, a purposeful platform, um, about four years ago, we came up with um, the Mardi Gras Giving Day. Okay. And we knew that we wanted to do a giving day of some sort and trying to find the right day. You know, if you pick, um, if you pick a certain date that it could on Fall any on a Saturday could, or something. Exactly. But we know as a Catholic school that we are always going to be in school on Mardi Gras, exactly. and we're always going to have Mass on Ash Wednesday the next day. And so we, um, we came up with um, the Mardi Gras Giving Day with a live stream, kind of like a live stream-a-thon. So I it's love a live it. stream video production, um, all driven by the students. They come up with the ideas and the... Um, the contest, the people that they want to interview, they write scripts, they edit and uh, shoot, and they get up early. Now we call it eight hours on the, uh, you know, for the live stream. Mm -hmm. But um, Carlo and and um, Jacob and their cohorts are going to be here a lot earlier than that. They'll probably get here about five in the morning. Oh my goodness! Setting up and making sure all systems are go. It's a it's a tremendous amount of work. But when you think about the practical experience that they're getting, um, it's invaluable if they want to go into broadcasting or uh, any type of job that requires the use of technology, they are getting it in, in, in real life. Oh, yeah. Well, that's what I was going to say. I think it's amazing that you go into this class, this digital video and audio class, you're learning the skills, but you're putting it to use for real stuff. You're not just going out and doing a segment and then turning it in to, to get graded kind of thing. Everyone's going to get to see their hard work and they get to see their end results. Mm -hmm. Four years ago is not that long. So tell me how it's grown every year, because this year's event is going to be in this gorgeous, brand new studio that was built. How has this grown and changed over the past four years? Well, it's grown. Obviously, the first year we had no idea, um, you know, what what our goal should be. Mm -hmm. What, how much money can we earn in one in one day? And. Um, in, we went into it with the goal of, I believe our first goal was $25,000 okay. in one day. Well, we raised 50. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah. And then we raised 50 again the next year. And so we thought, okay, 50 is a good sweet spot. That's our number. And that was our goal last year. And we raid, raised 86,000. Wow. Yeah. I mean, the, the kids' energy and their stories are so compelling that it, I think it really does inspire people to give and, and want to see our school flourish and grow. Um, we're a great, um, you know, we're a great entity in the community. Oh, absolutely. Um, putting out a lot of positive, or, you know, our kids just succeed all across the board, academically, in sports, um, artistically, and, and it's fun to see that and to give them the space and the, and the tools to do it. So this year, we're going big. Our goal for this year is um, a hundred thousand dollars in eight hours. Jacob is, you know, he's not <laughs> one to mess around. He's a, he's a really good president for uh, for NDP Live. I have no doubt that you are going to get that just based off the last three years how you've already increased each year. So yeah, yeah. So I mean, we're we're very positive. We're um, fortunate that already and we haven't even begun, but um, we have had. Families step up, so we have twenty-six thousand dollars in matching gifts. You haven't even started yet. We haven't even started yet. So the the kids have been working it. You know, their parents know, and um, and they're spreading the word. We have sponsors, and um, and that's a great thing for people in the community. If you have a business, 
um, sponsor our live stream. And then for eight hours, you get your branding underneath on the lower third of the, sh of the screen. Oh, yeah. it's very nice. <laughs> yeah. Easy. And a little plug from our kiddos. So. I love that. Yeah. So um, we have opportunities for, you know, for that as well. What is this year's theme? Well, this year's theme, we're coming up on our 20-year um, anniversary of being a school. And um, we're uh, just kind of looking back at where we were and where we are today and, um, and just show that how through philanthropic efforts um, that we can grow and really provide some wonderful um, education uh, experiences for our kids so that the, the future is bright. The future has leaders Absolutely. in it that really know how to, how to work in a real world setting. And um, no, I'm really, I'm just really, really excited about the, the prospects of, of, I don't know, seeing if they can, if they can <laughs> get $100,000. Yeah, and so, um, you know, the school has some needs after 20 years. Well, I was going to ask you, like, what is, the money stays on campus. Everything mm -hmm. that's raised stays here. It doesn't go anywhere else. So what is this money being raised for this year? Do you all have, like, needs already that you're hoping? Or do you kind of wait to see, like, this is what we raised, so let's see what kind of needs we can fulfill from there? No, I mean, we identify our priorities um, okay. every year, you know, take a good hard look at, at what is necessary. Um, one of the things that we want to, we're working with the city of Scottsdale to get an exterior wall so that maybe um, herds of javelina aren't, aren't coming on for campus. Us as we're coming out the door <laughs> for, after work. Um, and just, you know, uh, for the safety and security of the campus, uh, we would like to, to work with the city to find a way to get that um, that um, fence yeah. built, the uh, exterior fencing it. built. <laughs> um, and so we need funding for that. Um, we need funding for our, our buses. Um, transportation is a big thing. We also need bus drivers. So if anyone's listening out there who is retired and maybe wants to make a little money yeah. on a part-time job, they can apply at ndpsaints.org forward slash employment. Um, to check out applying to be a bus driver. I love it. <laughs> it'll be a brand new bus. So, <laughs> there you, know, you go. It'll be fun. Um, so yeah, so we're, we want to um, raise money for transportation. We always want to make sure that our school is accessible to everyone. Mm -hmm. So um, tuition assistance is a big thing. And the Saints Fund does fund that. So all the money uh, made on Giving Day will go to um, the Saints Fund and then um, parsed out by need there. Okay. And when you go to um, ndpsaints.org forward slash Mardi Gras to the Giving Day page um, where you can make a pledge, uh, there are um, places where you can actually designate where you want your oh, money very to nice. go. So if you are really, you know, have um, your heart is for the arts, then you can give to the arts um, specifically very so nice. you know your donation goes So out. you're already accepting pledges. We'll have the link in the description of this podcast listed below. We're going to put it on social media and everything. But we, the live event happens the, on Tuesday, March 1st, correct? Yes. What time does it start so it can be? Well, I'm going to be here with you guys personally, but for everyone else that is not lucky enough to be here, where can they go and they can log on all day? We're going to see interviews. The guys are going to come on next and tell us what all we can see. But it is, it's eight hours straight. So before school starts, during and after? Yes. So, so uh, it, it's going to begin at 10 a.m., okay. so 10 to 6 I'm sitting here with two Notre Dame prep students, Carlo Lanza and Jacob Weatherall. Jacob, you're the president here of NDP Live. You've been here, the, you're both seniors. This is your last year. You've been the president, Jacob, for two years. Tell me what this year's Giving Day means to you because we're in a brand new studio and you're going to be live, no mistakes, unlike some that I've been making <laughs> this morning, for eight hours. So, Jacob, talk to me about what you've been doing to prepare for this, this year. So, you know, last year our control room uh, that we have this year is about the size of our old studio. So our, our studio is massive, a ton of new equipment, um, and it's a lot of stuff to prepare with. And I think this year it's really going to be us showing off what happens when you donate to NDP. This stream is trying to promote NDP as a school, and this, is, this studio, this entire building, is a result of uh, the donations that we've received. So I think this year is pretty big because it's showing... Um, the fruits of people's uh, gifts to our school. 
I mean, the studio is absolutely amazing. It's top of the line, better than anything I ever got to learn in in high school. You're very lucky, and I know that you all appreciate everything and you take full advantage of it. So talk to me a little bit, Jacob, about what you have done to prepare for this huge live event coming up. So th this event, is, it's very big, especially with our new studio. There's a lot to learn about and a lot to uh, prepare for, especially since it's not going to be mainly pre-taped. It's going to be live. Um, so I've, I've been having meetings almost, uh, or more than once at least every week uh, in preparation for this event. Uh, countless meetings talking with uh, our people at like, Clearwing, helping with the studio and uh, our new software, um, as well as uh, videotaping, uh, including our recent uh, filming of our promo video on the roof of our 800 building. Whoa, tell me more. So I, th I think that I'm going to throw that one to Carlo because that's pretty big for him. Well, Carlo, you um, this is your senior year as well. You're one of the anchors, so we're going to see and hear a lot of you coming up on the live event. So talk to me about this promo video. This is a little sneak peek that we haven't to get ready. Yeah, so we it was earlier this week or earlier last week. We um, decided to go on top of the 800 building, and it overlooks sort of the whole campus and this amazing building that we have that we are inside of. And we kind of stood up there during the sunrise and filmed a little oh. little promo tape. And it was just incredible kind of being up there. The way NDP, um, NDP legend goes that there's a pool up there. And I can't confirm nor deny what? whether that's true or not. <laughs> well, but it Mr. was Logia uh, was in his swimwear. <laughs> he was. He was. But I think we've said too much. But <laughs> it, was a really, it was a really beautiful experience to kind of be up there and, and to, to film something with the sunrise coming up. And with my amazing co-anchor, Ava Cavanis, another senior here at NDP. It was, it was just a great experience and something I really wouldn't have been able to, to do if I would have gone to another high school. Well, Carlo, you transferred here and you uh, kind of told me the story earlier. You kind of got thrown into this class, yeah, per se. Yeah. You, you needed some extra credits. There was an opening. You took it and you realized this new passion that you found and a talent I don't think you realized yeah. you had. Talk to me about how you're preparing because going live is a really different than taping a lot of things that you were just talking about. For sure, it's, it's a big jump. Um, when I was first approached by Mr. Henderson to sort of be part of the club, he said, it's all pre-recorded, it's just taped, you know, if you mess up, no problem, we go back and we do it again. And that, that, sort, of, that sort of gave me a lot of reassurance. I, I had no idea what I was doing. <laughs> I had never been in front of a camera before. So it was, um, it was a big jump for me. And now going from the pre-recorded to the live is another sort of big jump, but um, I'm surrounded by great people who are helping me with that. Mr. Henderson, uh, Sidney Glenn, um, Jacob himself, you know, he's a, it's all been a really big team process and this is a big jump for all of us, but knowing that we have a good support network uh, just in our club is really great and it really helps all of us make sure that we can be successful for this live stream. I love that the support you have for each other is, is really sweet and it shows because it plays off in the end and you have this yeah. huge successful show. So let's talk about the show. Eight hours. What are you going to fill with eight hours of live content? <laughs> well, one of our main sort of people that's in charge of making sure that everything runs smoothly is Jacob. So I think I'm going <laughs> to toss it over to him. Yeah, I love how you have to pass back and forth. <laughs> of course, of course. Um, I mean, eight hours each, a new topic every single hour. We have arts, faith, academics, okay. um, athletics, um, and it goes on. And we just want to make sure that people understand what we are as a community and what we're doing to help uh, incoming students as well as students that are here. Um, I mean, donations to the, for the uh, event here are going towards our Saints Fund for scholarships. Um, on, we're working on uh, new like, things on campus that will be built, um, as well as even revamping old things, like such as our uh, buses, which are running on 20 years now and, and need, some, wow. uh, need some help there. <laughs> yeah. So a lot of campus improvements, renovations, and just keeping up with technology and stuff like that. What are you most looking forward to, Jacob? This is your last one. It is live. You're going out on this top in this beautiful studio. What has it meant to you to be a part of this and now here you are at the top before you graduate? I mean, it's, it's, it's crazy. I, freshman year, we didn't have nearly as much equipment. And uh, coming into this new... Uh, amazing uh, studio that was paid for by the gifts of our generous patrons. Uh, it, it's great and I'm just so excited to be able to use this new equipment uh, to produce a stream uh, that will show people what they have been giving us money for. Are you nervous about anything? I mean it, it's pretty <laughs> nerve-wracking switching um, softwares and equipment this year but yeah. I think that it's for the better, and I think now that I've got a better handle with this, it's going to improve our quality a ton.
Oh, oh that's no doubt, no doubt. Um, Carlo, what are you most looking forward to for this event coming up? Yeah, sort of. It will be your last one too. It will be. It will be. I've only been part of two though, so <laughs> it's not like I've been in four like Jacob here. But it's still going to be something I'll miss for sure. Um, I think what I'm most excited for is to kind of see everything be put together, mm -hmm. right? Over the last couple of months, we've been working in here, but maybe using one or two cameras at a time, maybe still figuring out how to use the lights, how to make sure that um, things sync up. So over the last sort of six, five months here, it's been setting everything up. We've had engineers come in uh, daily to sort of mm -hmm. uh, fix the control room, get the control room up and running, teach us how to use the things that are in here because there's so much equipment, there's oh, yeah. so much technology, right? And jumping from our little uh, closet type of studio that we had last year to this state-of-the-art television studio is, is a big jump and, and a lot to learn. So sort of these six months have been that learning process, that getting used to everything here. And I think it's gonna all come together in, on that live stream, which is gonna be pretty exciting, so. What, yeah. have you, what kind of prep work have you gone into to get ready for a live event? Yeah, just um, sort of starting to make the transition in my head of it's gonna be live, no mistakes. Mm -hmm. And if there is a mistake, just running with it, yeah. right? It's, it's a different mindset when it comes to being live rather than, um, I guess, it going, exactly, yeah. going back and, and being able to pre-tape it. So um, sort of a lot of hours making sure that go over the script, know the script in and out, being part of the process of writing the scripts mm -hmm. to make sure that it sounds like me and it feels natural, right? If I'm reading something that doesn't sound like me or I feel like isn't something I would say, it's gonna come out a little weird. So <laughs> sort of kind of getting used to that process, working with my co-hosts, um, making sure that we all have good chemistry together because yep. we're gonna be together for eight hours. <laughs> so we can't be at each other's throats at hour three, right? So it's, it's a long haul, it's a marathon, but yeah, sort of kind of getting used to that mindset and getting comfortable with all the equipment. There's a lot of things that we have to uh, learn how to use. Yeah. We were using earpieces for the first time, oh, and I had like never Jacob used in your ear all time. Yeah, yeah, for eight hours. So that's going to be a new experience for sure. But yeah, kind of just getting used to all of that. Jacob, as the leader of this event and the leader of NDP Live, how are you prepping your team and making them feel confident and making them feel like they're able, capable and able and ready to go? I mean, one thing is just bombarding them with emails. <laughs> there's yeah, there's a lot of stuff that goes that's down. True. There's a yeah. lot of scripts. Um, I mean, we also moved, our entire school is moving uh, storage over to like OneDrive this year. So it's been a lot of reminding people where things are going to be now, mm -hmm. um, sending out emails, telling them what's happening when. Uh, we also have um, a giant rundown, which we're working on, mm -hmm. making sure that, because everyone needs to know what's happening when. I think that's what it comes down to. It's just telling people uh, where are they going to need to be? What, um, let me say that again. This, the giving day happens the Tuesday before Ash Wednesday. It's the last day. What are you two going to give up for Lent? I, I know you're going to be exhausted and you probably just want to <laughs> sleep the day after this and that's very yeah. well earned. Jacob, I'll start with you. What are you going to give up for Lent this year? I mean, as someone who's going to be on the uh, TriCaster software for the entire eight hours of the stream, um, I, I think I'm going to be giving up technology <laughs> uh, for the most part. I'm just trying to get away from that whole uh, situation after getting my fix from practicing for the stream and <laughs> conducting it too. That's fair. That's fair. <laughs> Carlo, what about you? What are you going to give up this year? Yeah, it might not be as big as, as Jacob's, but I've been on TikTok a little bit too much recently. <laughs> so I think I'm going to just delete it, you know, out of sight, out of mind and sort of give it up because uh, it's been taking up a lot of time and that's time I simply don't have. So <laughs> I get that. <laughs> I, I get, get that. Back, yeah. Well, one last thing, Jacob, before we leave, tell the community what you would like for them from them. Well, I, the easiest thing I could ask from them is to just tune into the stream and hopefully donate too. Uh, I mean, it's it's not, you don't have to put much. $5, that's all we are asking for at least. I mean, that's just what we need to be able to make this school better. Um, you can go to uh, ndpsaints.org slash Mardi Gras and uh, give, uh, sorry, uh, <laughs> donate on that site. You can also uh, tune into the stream too and uh, they'll show you what's happening with the donations and the progress as it goes on. Well, we'll we here at Scottsdale Vibes will be promoting you. I'm gonna come watch Thank you, you, Thank you and see how this goes. I'm super excited. Carlo, I have no doubt that we will be seeing and hearing a lot of you <laughs> over the Giving Tuesday, but best of luck to both of you and congratulations. Your hard work is already paying off.